All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Breath Edge 1.0. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I can't wait to dive in. Did it reset my settings? No, it didn't, but it's still kind of loud. I'm going to turn it down a little bit further. Okay, uh, let's see. Anyway, Breath Edge is best described as crappy Russian Subnautica. I say crappy mainly just because this poor guy is put through a lot, and I feel bad for him. And yeah, so we're just going to dive in. I'm going to delete my old save files just so I don't accidentally... Run into them. Okay, so we got standard, imp story, impossible, and free. I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna go standard. I think story, uh, infra infinite parameters, but death is still possible. Oh, I see. So you don't starve. No, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna stick with standard. And then we wait. Because the load screens are atrocious. Never mind! It was fast this time. Wait, from the creators of The Matrix, there's been no news lately. 22 awards some other games received. Searching for this font took half the development time. <laughs> Director isn't needed here at all. The Red Rune Softworks team is categorically against smoking, which causes loud he headlines in papers, newspapers and other diseases. And therefore, we suggest that you replace this dangerous cigarette and the robots call for something more useful. Yay, censorship. <laughs> Here you are again. Did you have time to think of how to behave during the interrogation? Remind him, R2-D3. <laughs> you tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm. Put in a defined expression and spit in the face of this piece of iron. Spit! You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Spitting was a lousy idea. We agree. You better tell your story first. You can still have your defined expression. Keep spitting! You tell us all from the beginning or violence. Okay. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm? Interstellar liner unnamed. Your yogurt or some other garbage ads could be here. Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe activists promise new terrorist attacks if... poorly. And do not weep for the chicken, for the chicken is Satan. Weep for you Grandpa. You to me. Logo was impossible. Could not see the shuttle from space. Tell truth. No lie. Confirm. <laughs> Continue your defiantly unembellished story. out right then and there. Fair enough! 
Sleeping in bed will restore health. We couldn't have created anything more trite. Fair enough. This is one of those just kind of weird games. But it's also, like, actually one of the better open world, open world survival sandbox games I think I've ever played. I want to say I almost like it better than Subnautica in certain ways. But first, we should probably deal with our immediate problems. Then we'll talk about that. No, you needed that gun. Or gun. Gum. Greetings. I'm your funerary space you who's built-in guide to the world of space funerals. Before we start communicating further, confirm that you are still able to read after the impact. Can I, can I move? Uh, Splendid. Yeah. Oh, You've gotten okay. into a non-standard situation. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency is proud of its impeccable history. However, your death may cause the loss of its reputation. Therefore, we suggest that you stop the gas leak and survive. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. When picking up any useful items, you can stuff them in your pockets, calling it an inventory, if you will. <laughs> no. To stop the leakage, you'll need an object without any holes. Didn't I, didn't I Take grab out the, the gum? gum from your pocket? Try not to get oh. your funerary space suit sticky while holding the chewing gum in your head. Stick it somewhere except for your face. Okay, there we go. You deserve so I guess some we just... encouragement. That's impressive. You've almost won. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, interphone. Hello, how? To adjust the antenna, you'll have to go into outer space. Do I actually have a helmet? I guess I must have. Oh, that was the radio. How how do I go the in here? The waste disposal system no is mirror? damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck objects flying past the shuttle when the tanks are full. What? How does that even work? How am I peeing? How does any of this work? Well, I don't have a scanner. I don't think I have jack business. We could investigate most of this stuff. I guess I might as well. Home phone number. Our home phone number. I can't reach it, of course. Well, and there's no one to call, unless I say hello to the cockroaches. I'll just leave it there. Don't forget to feed the chicken. Why? It's immortal. Summer 2018. Looks like India. Somehow I've never asked where this photo is from. It's kind of interesting how much this guy likes his... Oh, boy. Uh, likes his grandfather. Enough to go on a giant space voyage to bury him somewhere else? I'm not entirely sure how this works. Uh, let's see. Oh, is it two th 2008, not 2018? Eh, whatever. A humorous guide recorded by one of Grandpa's friends. They even cut some shots out from a movie to put it in, uh, and put it in there. I don't think that such advice can be useful, to be honest. This situation is somehow strangely familiar to mine. There's even a chicken there. Take it. Insert videotape. To pee or not to pee? Space! So dangerous, so unpredictable. Just like your bladder. In space, you can find yourself left without the most valuable equipment at the most inopportune moment. This is wrong. Tip number two, try to keep it all in. A thoughtless waste of resources can lead to your, your death. This is wrong. Tip three, explore the environment in search of AIDS or analog something. It's going by really fast. This is wrong. Collect any valuable items in space, but be extremely cautious. Also wrong! Use chicken. Chicken dielectric. With due luck and due diligence, you can repair the most valuable equipment or kill something. Man, it goes by really fast.
I think they changed it. I don't remember this last segment on the base building. It, the first time I watched this video. All right, anyway, I should probably remove that so we're not listening to it constantly. All right. Well, I have a carrot. Tasty, nutritious, almost clean. Despite the anti-active carrot... Active anti-carrot propaganda. Carrots are still in demand. I wish they wouldn't throw the ends out of windows. I'll take it. I assume maybe I can eat it. Small carrots with a filter. Usually they're just kept in the mouth. Sometimes they're chewed on. The soft core is pressed directly into the mouth or into the lungs as luck would have it. Quite a strange, pra quite a strange pastime for sure. Taking that. <laughs> Okay. When you discover True a new blueprint. blueprint of an item, it is automatically added to the memory of a processor in the kitchen, where you can create this item using the necessary resources, probably. All right. Part of the truth. A page from the famous and the only galactic newspaper, Piece of Truth, has been published for a long period of time and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it an indispensable piece of trashy literature after a hearty dinner. Green Universe Broccoli Attack. Green Universe Activist Pro promise new terrorist attacks if bearing any kind of meat in space is not prohibited. Huh. Our independent publication continues to cover the activities of the Green Universe Radical Group. This formidable terrorist organization appeared recently and has already managed to inflict irreparable damage to several lawns, splash three people with brilliant green, and leave digested broccoli on the doorstep of the White House. Residents of all the Planets are in panic. When will these elusive funeral fighters strike again? Can anyone stop them? On Wednesday, the leader of the Green Universe, a businesswoman, or a businessman and co-owner of a tiny crematoria network, announced about the complete blocking of the security guard booth on the territory of Space Coffin's plant. What makes this man tick beyond being almost bankrupt because of the rapidly... Sorry, it's very small. Can I, like, zoom it in? No. Uh, what makes this man tick? Being almost bankrupt because of this rapidly, because of the rapidly gaining popularity of cosmic funerals. We do not know this, but we're sure of one thing: they will not stop at anything. All right. Hmm. The largest cosmic unnamed hearse liner in history is set out on its first flight. A cutting-edge warp engine, the work of which is strictly, or the work of which is strictly classified, is able to deliver the unnamed liner to your planet within days. If you're planning to die in the near future, we recommend you familiarize yourself with the flight schedule and purchase a ticket to the orbital shuttle. Don't be late to order a space coffin and bury yourself and your relatives in space with utmost co uh, utmost comfort. Those damn bananas continue kidnapping my goats. I'm just going to leave it here. I don't think there's, like, any benefit to carrying these around. It usually just kind of spams everything full. Hey, family photo. Good photo. It was taken two years before Grandpa's death. This jacket has outlived him and will probably outlo outlive me as well. It wasn't worth blowing bubbles into the face of this immortal bird. The school wanted to sign me up as a sprinter after that race. That day, I flew. Pfft. All photo albums at home are filled with pictures of the chicken. A portrait with a dark background. A portrait with a light background. A master shot in the rain. A photo of it sitting heroically in a chair. This family heirloom now belongs to me, and I can't get rid of it by giving it to anybody. A picture with the autographs of Grandpa's best friends. It's from the time, it's from the times when their crazy gang went on, as they called it, a space odyssey, which lasted almost a year, and put them on... The blacklist of most bars on inhabited planets. They're really cool guys. All already gone. Okay, place spacesuit. Stand? Empty. Remove spacesuit. Wait, change? Is there... Okay. I guess I might be able to change what kind of spacesuit I have. Well... Backscratcher. My beloved grandpa's backscratcher with a nipple grabber. Extremely popular among astronauts. And the rest of it's gone. Okay. Starting with this, you can create an excellent tool for grabbing something else. Cool. Well, let's get out in space and actually do some things. Before I starve to a death, because that's going to happen. Detected. Probably this is the central core of the liner. Be careful. The radiation will kill you instantly in such a suit. 
I know there's a button to slow down and like come to a stop, but boy, I don't remember what it is. So instead, we're just going to whiz around. Uh, is there a way I can actually up the FOV? Because I think this is very limited. Nope. Oh, that's fun. Maybe it's under game? Yes. Okay. I'll make it a bit bigger. This might actually be a problem. I honestly have no idea. Uh, it's controls. There we go. Stabilization is alt. Okay, so let's start with the basics. I don't have a whole lot of storage solutions, but we're going to need some water and food all the same. Question, can I, can I use the back scratcher to clonk things? No, I need a handy scrapper. All right. Nope, can't break that either. So we gotta we gotta find bits of iron all over the place, and they are conveniently just floating in space. I mean, it makes sense. It's not like food's gonna go bad in space, can it? I actually don't know that one. I mean, uh, huh? If there is mold on it, it will go bad. Really? Huh, I guess it makes sense. Okay, so we gotta get a grabber. We need metal, battery, wire, and aluminum. Oh no, that's a grabber. We need the crowbar. I guess we don't know how to make it yet. I, all right. If we can su survive anaerobically and not freeze, sure. But that like, was a close call. Try to adjust the antenna very carefully. You've got great engineering skills. You have broken the antenna completely. Now you will need some special equipment and interphone activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory of the steering wheel, if it's still intact. It looks like the steering wheel. You need to try to connect to it. Great news! Using my ingenious two-digit password matching algorithm, I managed to hack the interphone activation codes. Now all that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes, which will take about five years with your current skills. I feel like I'm being talked down to. Which is not cool. Alright, let's get Remember some more oxygen. Still able to oh. become depressed. <laughs> uh. Okay, do we know how to make... Yeah, grabber? No. Cryptographic debugging station, which actually just requires some wire. Wherever that'll be. I guess... Let's just peek at stuff. I don't remember exactly how to get the... Uh, how to get the, the bashing tool. But it's fine. Be careful with the vacuum Literally. breakdowns. An electric shock of such power can lead to the failure of my systems, and I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before the arrival of the funeral team. Alright, let's just use chicken on a stick to get rid of the electricity. Do we need to? No, but we're going to anyway, just so we don't have to worry about it. This game has the best humor. There's a couple of things that are maybe a little on the crude side uh, for me, but it is certainly fun to listen to. Seems they were playing some brain cracking game. Okay, beer wiring. Okay, and I think they were playing Mortal Wombat. I read that in like a split second and I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, we might we might suffocate a bit. Oh, I forgot how stressful the music in this game gets. Nope, we're good. Okay, so we can do food, water, items, tools. Still nothing, but I can make the debugging station. I guess we'll start with that. Most sophisticated professional equipment for disturb uh, distributing streaming information with cryptographic encryption. Sorry. Cryptographic encryption over internal software networks. Durability 1. Hi. Nope. i got to actually equip it. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock, and then your spacesuit will automatically take your body measurements to order a coffin from our company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Debug. Well, did it work? Attention survivors, the rescue shuttle Hope was sent for... 
you from the nearest evacuation point. The rescue Due arrival to... time Oops. exceeds your estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point yourself, getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. Due to the slight malfunction of engines, the estimated arrival time of the rescue team is 4,369 years. Yeah, that's, um... That's a little bit beyond me. Wait, we had a... We actually had a handy scrapper there for a second. Equipment tools? Yes, handy scrapper. Alright, and then objects, stations, crafting... Imposed by the developers. Refined metal, wire, thick electrical tape. Eh, it's doable. Fourth wall be damned. That's the way to do it. Alright, so now I can bonk some things. For resources. Tape recorder. Okay, you. Babe, incredible. Survived one. I see your avatar online. Uh-oh. It wasn't possible to determine the coordinates of the survivor. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. <laughs> if if you are ever contacted by a set of talking boobs, run. It's not worth it. It's I doesn't matter how desperate you are. Uh, let's see. Now, does water... Oh, no. Thirst is actually a me uh, meter that I'm going to have to care about. <laughs> I would shell respond if I just called her in here and said, I'm being contacted by a set of talking boobs. <laughs> I don't think she'd be very cool with this knowledge. Okay, so where's storage? It was... was it under, under... Ah, here it is. Container. We might as well just kind of drop off a lot of the food stuff so that we don't need... Uh... Carrot. Can I eat the carrot? I gotta... I gotta check. Install. Turn. My name is Babe. I'm very beautiful. You saved me, I beg. I'm completely alone. Take off your helmet. You may hear me cry. Hurry. Well, I guess your I'm just going to install the carrot action, here. Causing fatal errors in my grammatical functions. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Scrapping. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come back. I'm very glad things don't actually have the infinite the presence momentum of some around here. Gel. Its microscopic particles can settle in the glass of the spacesuit, forming some beautiful frostwork, which can lead to visibility deterioration. However, I think whatever I just bipped is gone. Never mind. There it is. A. Hey. I really got to watch out when I'm flying. I'm a bit of a klutz. Okay, let's let's get some more metal before we're gone, because this thing is going to break apart soon. And I'd rather not be in shit space without a scrapper. Or you. Grandpa's mug. Nope, we gotta rescue that. Grandpa loved to give young girls a ride on his rocket, so this is why his colleagues gave him this mug, and the title of Chief Womanizer. Unfairly, because Grandpa only gave them rides, and only on his rocket. But he still kept the mug, and always laughed at, laughed at it. Yoink. The handle is there. <laughs> Okay, excuse me. Mug. Where can I install mug? Install mug. Okay, that didn't work. That's fine. Equipment, tools. We want to make some scraps. Oh, we can also make some shears. Handmade shears from old scissors and a powerful hydraulic spring hidden in the handle. An extremely pointless tool des designed by developers to avoid making complex animation of fingers with normal scissors. I, well, at least they're self-aware. But that was the other thing. Let's put away the back scratcher. I don't think it was actually that useful. Uh, let's see. Do I just... I'm just gonna put shit away until I need it. We should probably try and go find some equipment. I see dangerous place on the radar. There's many life-giving oxygen, but you cannot fly there. If you suddenly smoke there, you can explode. 
It's better to suffocate than to burn. Why does she want me to suffocate? I don't know. Anyway, why the hell is Babe the one telling me to do anything useful? You should just honestly be calling for me to take off my helmet constantly. But yeah, the drink meter is right below the eat meter. Just for whatever reason, the world, I read that also is oxygen. Of gas, most likely oxygen are detected ahead. The service supply compartment, almost intact. They usually install oxygen stations here. You would be in luck if you managed to get inside. A damaged door scanner. You can scan the scanner with a scanner to record the scanner's damage data to the scanner's scanner protection system for emergency depressurization of the compartment. You will need a scanner. I used the word scanner eight times. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. We. I guess that's not actually as tight of timing as I thought it used to be. I wonder if they rebalanced how quickly oxygen depletes in this. Okay, so we want to make equipment tools. So scanner is metal, battery, plastic, and a light bulb. I don't think we have one of those. Oxygen balloon requires condom, wire, plastic. Okay, uh, let's grab the scissors. Let's just go find some things. Yeah, maybe it was just that initial oxygen was that much lower. You could be right about that Judging one. By the primary I honestly analysis forget. Of the destruction, most of the passengers of the liner died. This might be the biggest catastrophe in the history of astronautics, the reasons for which are yet to be clarified. Okay. Yeah, I want to just yoink everything that I have. Okay. Examine carrot top. It's covered in saliva, but it still looks appetizing. Okay, could grab corpse. Why? Why do? Bonk. Give me your loot. Okay. There we go. Anything else? Nope, just the carrot top. Uh, let's see. Am I good? Yeah, I'm good. And whatever happened to carrot top? It was like, for whatever reason, kind of like something that people cared about in the 90s. And then just kind of disappeared. I guess every aging, probably. Are you still alive? I cannot name my coordinates, but there is Debris here. And there's Debris on the left. You have to help, I beg of you. Quick, fly to me through the radiation. No. No. Yeah, I know it got really beefy. Oh, that's alcohol, not oxygen. Well, it's good that I didn't try to breathe that. <laughs> Yeah, who or what is Carrot Top? Just Google Carrot Top. Yeah, I... I know nothing about the man, I just know exactly what he looks like. Prop comedy died out finally. Guess that's it. Oh, oxygen used to be 50. They boosted it. Cool. Anyway, I gotta go find a condom. Okay. Luckily, tape recorders have some good bits. Judging by the degree of decomposition, this subject died long before the catastrophe. We have a murder here, Sherlock, and we just have to ignore it. Take the scissors. Oh, that's... That's something. It is unlikely that he suffocated from this, being in a spacesuit where oxygen is sufficient for an entire full breath. Okay, I think... Novichoks. The Novichok drug is developed with the support of the Pension Association. The composition of this unique drug includes rare ingredients such as chalk, probably increasing sexual potency, coal, probably increasing something as well, water, sugar, and a ascorbic acid. Recommended for persons who attain sexual matur maturity and experiencing an unreasonable fear of intimacy even with themselves. Male potency tablets. I remember I ate a whole box of them when I was a kid because I thought they were sweets. It was the first time when I discovered some peculiarities of the body, such as uncontrollable vomiting and diarrhea, at the same time. Okay. I think that's what I need. Yeah, so oxygen used to be 50. I was wondering, it's like, I'm pretty sure I can get a lot like, around a lot more with what I've got uh, than the early access version. This makes a lot of sense. Should probably go back and deal with the radio. 
Because, yeah, that's way more forgiving. Okay. Resources. Composite resources. So now we can make batteries. What I want is the elastic the oxygen balloon probably wire plastic and thick electrical tape i think the tape is the hard part but i can't make the scanner so we'll start with that bit okay and we did get our condoms like we needed wait breath edge 1.0 is out now yep forgive my accident uh accents humanity fly all over the galaxy but never make good translator are you saving me no All right, probably actually equip the scanner so I can use it. We also grab the resources out of there, but let's grab the oxygen from this location first. There can be no mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Okay. So I could, I could keep this around for a bit, but I think we're just gonna break you must it. Just carefully remove the station by removing two screws. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Oh, I guess we're fine. I let me check something. There was controls, acceleration, left hand. Oh, okay. So yeah, I cannot tilt myself. Wait, yes I can. There's something about banking. Bank left, bank right. But I can't do it in here because gravity is all sorts of messed up. Uh. Break? Huh. I distinctly don't think that that's necessary or worth it. Maybe it is, but... At least for now, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, oxygen candle. Condom, another oxygen candle. I was in a bit of a rush the last time we came through, so I didn't really bother with this. There's the mail section over there, but let's leave it. Do you have oxygen when the door is open? Yeah, I don't think too hard about this game. Really don't. It's not worth it. There we go. Okay. So, oxygen generator. Oh, I see. That's for oxygen stations. These. I could put them down. We are going to need at least a couple. So, I need two rubber for the thick electrical tape. I guess, what do I need for this? The tape and the refined metal. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess let's just go find a bunch of metal. Oh, fabric. Yoink. I might as well grab everything as I go by. I will pack rat until my inventory fills out. And then I'm going to get... Uh, then it's just annoying. Ooh, who are you? Asteroid. Is this worth it? It might be, but we need more metal first. On my monitor, the signals of the rescue shuttles appeared right at this point, but no one answered. Probably there is danger there, so it's not worth it to fly. Okay. Shit ton of metal just sitting around here. All for me, and also some honey for some reason. What the? Break honey barrel. Don't mind if I do. Unfortunately. Oh, we just got it. All right. Seriously, all of it? I guess there's just a bit more honey. And then back before I die. The number one thing I always want in these games is inventory upgrades because I like being a pack rat. I don't remember if this one has... Inventory upgrades. Forget if it does or doesn't. Anyway, we should probably actually save. I think we've been auto-saving every single time. We come and go. 
Alright, hello, I would like to make some handy scrappers. We should probably also make a drill. Because I think that's how we get uh, aluminum. So we need some refined metal, battery, and electrical tape. Let's make a bunch of refined metal with what we've got. Oh, I do have some plastic sitting around. Alright, let's, let's see what I can make with this. Resources. Refined metal. Well, that's not so bad. So I need two plastic for that. Yeah, let's start with the drill. Okay, items, objects, stations. So I still need the tape and the refined metal. I guess we'll just go get more. Yeah, I don't have enough plastic. We... Oh, this is the container. This is my inventory. I don't remember if there's any inventory increases. You get faster at the very least, which offsets a lot. Uh, let's grab this and just get rid of the blueprint over here. Drop it on the ground. I don't think we need anything else. What is alcohol? Reduce thirst, extra temperature, extra intoxication. I'm not actually sure if alcohol is really worth it. You know, in that case, let's just have a party in this corner. There we go. Uh, let's see. And then I'll move these over. I am an absolute hoarder when it comes to these things, and there's a very real possibility we're never actually going to use them. But I'm going to hoard, hoard them anyway. Let's see. One, two, three, four, three. Okay, what else have we got? I guess let's just start looking at some of these locations. I don't remember which of them have useful resources and which one of which ones of them are just kind of weird. I understand that such an image can horrify you, but put your mind at ease. You will need to pay only half the cost of a damaged spacesuit in such a situation. The Breath Edge Agency is proud of its loyal attitude towards clients. That's a whoopsie. Oh, that's a something. Blood Clot. Extremely useless, but froze so beautifully that it's impossible to resist adding it to your trash collection. There are lots of great games about it's vampires, true. but it is hardly useful here. Alright, and with that, that's a good stopping point. At least for now, we've got a fair bit of stuff, but it's going to take a long time before we can actually start zipping around, building our own base, uh, getting the vehicle, and so on and so forth. Chapter, chapter 1 is definitely the longest part of this game, and unfortunately, because I've played it three, four times before... I, a lot of the immediate magic of the humor and whatnot is lost on me just because I've seen it before and it's kind of hard to be like, haha, you know, oh babe, uh, after X number of times that uh, I, I suffer from extreme trouble faking uh, humor. And so instead we're just going to kind of just zip by a lot of the funny bits until I get to stuff that is actually new for me. But I hope you guys have been enjoying it all the same. So, I guess as a casual reminder, Breath Edge 1.0 is out now on Steam uh, after I don't know how many years. It's been, what, two, three years of development? And I, it's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend this. If you're a big fan of Subnautica, you will probably enjoy this game thoroughly, even if it is a little bit more uncouth. So, with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. Yeah, more than you know, I can word. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe, because I'm going to do a full run of this one. Breathage is just way too unique to pass up on, and I've been waiting very patiently to finally get my hands on the full version. So with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.